I'm sorry I haven't gotten these up sooner and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading these past two Fridays it got crazy around here so um I want to give you a little bit of a brief update uh, the brother of my niece moved in for a little bit with his girlfriend they had to sleep in separate areas and well push came to shove and I ended up asking my mom to pick them up and take them back to our hometown so that was addressed and a lot of stuff has been coming out because of it um, as well financially I am struggling a little bit so Shawnee is no longer in homeschooling she's being transferred to a teen parent school which is really going to help me because I'll be able to pull down pull down a second part-time job during the day while she's in school so I'm hoping that works out um please prayers everyone it's been getting really crazy hectic and stressful now that a lot of the stress is gone hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more financially stable and I've been kicking it into drove or drive offering more journals so I actually got three done or I got two done and I'm halfway through a third one and I've been spitting out colored paper like the Dickens this week. I've literally gone through two 500 packs of paper just dying nonstop. So hopefully I will have a bunch more journals out here soon and be able to supplement some of the income and take some relief off of the second job while along with build, building my small business that I've been wanting to work on. All right, moving right in. This is a custom order for a wedding journal. I know some of you have seen the red before with this beautiful front with the texturing um but this is not that same journal this is a different one that a lady she loved the original first one that I did fell in love with it and wanted to make me her wanted me to make her one too so this one is obviously a bit different but it is also very similar to the other one I think the other one had white uh, yarn this one has red yarn it came out very beautiful it makes everything pop um, this one has ribbon for the enclosure and it wraps around twice. A very simple cover. I just put a Tim Holtz book plate, one of the metal ones. It says cherish with a wood grain underneath, a very beautiful blue wood grain. And the back has this awesome wallpaper as well. No, that is not embossed. That is wallpaper. Came out really awesome. All right, let's jump right in here. First page, we got a tuck spot there, forever begins today, and you can see this red string and the red stitching really just kind of sets it off and gives it that little extra added thing. Tuck spot there, another tuck spot. Lots of lovely lace in this one. This one's very simple, so I added a bit more lace. I love these uh, papers, especially when they're double-sided. And there's a tuck spot here as well. And one there. And I love the sparkly polka dots on that lace. I still have quite a bit of it left over. Um, I don't think I have very much left out of this pa wedding paper pack that I've used for this set. Now this is my second one of the wedding journals. So if anyone wanted to custom order another one like this, I would have to try and go pick up the paper pack. But I'm not sure if they still have it. I think I got it at... Uh, Joann's was where I got it. So if I did and somebody wanted to order another one like this, um, it's it's on like on the wire whether or not I'd be able to actually recreate one similar to this. So just so everyone's aware for custom ordering purposes or being able to see another one similar to this again. I mean, I'll make one similar obviously but it won't be exactly the same. It'll probably just be with different wedding paper packs. And I got some different types of stitching on this one. I've been really playing around with that lately and using different stitching. I love the sparklies on this one. 
I'm not sure how well you can see it. And my alarm for work's going off, so right after I get done filming this video, I actually have to head out the door and get going. And hopefully this evening or tonight, I will get this video, this flip through up and out to you guys and her custom order up on Etsy. This was the first one the lovely lady ordered and she ordered a second one, which is going to be magnificent. Um, it was worked out and I got sent a wedding dress that she commissioned the journal be made from. And um, she does not know what it's going to look like. Uh, she has no idea. I kind of sent her a few little teaser pictures, but I really wanted to keep it a surprise. And I'm hoping that she's in love with it. I'm I'm assuming she will be because it just, it came out magnificent. And as soon as I seen the wedding dress, it popped in my head for the cover. And I'm like, oh, no, I want one like this. So I might just have to commission my mom and steal her old wedding dress to make myself a wedding junk journal. If she would let me because... I don't know, she might be, feel sentimental about me cutting up her wedding dress. Of course, it would be a good way to use it without the moths getting to it as well. So, um, now that I have that idea, I'm going to have to go talk to her. <laughs> so, thanks again for tuning in. This is, again, a custom order. I got to get on Etsy and do a custom order um, thing so she can purchase it. And I can hopefully mail it out this next week. Um... So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because there are more journals to come. I have a very vintage wedding one that is a companion order with this one. So I'll be shipping them out probably in separate boxes to make sure that uh, they don't get all jumbled up and everything and or anything like that. That and I like to, you know, just ship them out in la 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 shipping them out individually as well um i have a third one that my sister custom ordered and uh she will be getting it hopefully here by the end or the middle of the end of the month and that one came out magnificent it is a cowgirl uh, not really a cowgirl but she went wanted more of like a a western but um like the shab shabby chic style western they're coming out with now um, it's not shabby chic, it's something else. It's like a, uh, no, I can't really describe it. You'd have to see it. All right, well, look for pictures of this journal. Have a wonderful day. Bye.